Today, we're gonna compare the cameras on the Pixel 9 Pro versus the iPhone 16 Pro. So we're gonna do a little quick audio test where we got no speech enhancement on for the Pixel and this is just straight up normal mode on the iPhone. All right, now we have speech enhancement on on the Pixel and then we're gonna go through the different modes on the iPhone and see how that sounds compared to the speech enhancement. As you can tell, or you can probably hear that there are some construction noise in the back and I'm outside as well. Starting off with portrait mode, you get 1.5X and 2X on a Pixel 9 Pro. On iPhone, you get a lot more range from 1x, 2x, and all the way up to 5x. So if you're at a dinner table sitting next to a person, then the 1x really comes in handy. Whereas on a Pixel, the 1.5 can be a bit too close, and sometimes you don't even have space to move back. Now, I would say the cutoffs is more consistent on an iPhone. The edges are sharper around the ears, the hair, and whatnot, but on a Pixel, sometimes it can be a bit fuzzy around the ears. And I do prefer the skin tones on an iPhone. It seems to be more warmer and a bit more realistic. Like with the set here, the skin tone on a Pixel feels a bit more flat and the color of the skin almost matches the same color as the jacket. Whereas on iPhone, it seems to have more depth. Now another fun thing on iPhone is having the photogenic styles where I really like the stark black and white style which looks really good and I don't have to always go to it. Once I'm in that mode and exit the camera, it just shows or it just stays like that. So if I want to capture black and white for a little while, then I know I can just keep it on and start shooting. Moving on to the back cameras, I know that the pixel is pretty strict on the white balancing. So if the wall is white then on a pixel it will actually show white but on iphone it's a bit more realistic like let's say in this picture the sun is beaming on the walls and it should have a little warmth to it and that would actually come across on an iphone now it's not always one-to-one -one from the eyes but you do get the essence of the warmer tones casting over whatever surface is on but it's not a bad thing some people do like that more corrected look on a pixel and it's very consistent so it doesn't matter where you're taking it from daytime nighttime you will always get that neutral look now, when you're taking pictures of food during daylight or have a good amount of light, it looks like the iPhone seems to have more punch to it, it's a bit more saturated, the greens, the red do pop out more. But on the Pixel, you can actually physically get closer to the wide lens, so you can focus on a subject and have a more blurrier background. But on the iPhone, the minimal focusing distance is pretty far, so you would have to back up a bit and you can't get that exact close-up picture that you want. Now for the opposite where you're in dimmer, darker situations, it seems like the food have more of a punch on a Pixel. And the pictures are brighter too. Even though it is closer to the eye on the iPhone, I'll be leaning towards the Pixel to show these darker photos too. Now moving on to HDR, it seems like the ultra wide on the iPhone does a better job at exposing for the highlights. For the wide, it is very close to each other so it's kind of hard to tell which one does better. But on the ultra wide, you can pretty much see a big difference. Now moving on to low light photos, it seems like the iPhone is more natural where the darker areas or whatever is in the shadows are obviously darker because they're in the shadows. And it also looks a bit cleaner because you don't see as much noise, so that can be an advantage there. On a pixel, the darker areas or the shadows seems to be lifted and of course you can see more, so some people like to have a more evenly exposed picture, but it doesn't feel or look as realistic on the iPhone. And of course, since the shadows are brighter, you can clearly see a bit more noise. For taking selfies, I do lean towards the Pixel just because things are cleaner, sharper, more contrast there, and of course, it's wider. So you can actually add more people in the background or just show more of your background. I do feel like the white balancing is still a priority on the Pixel. I feel like for the ultra wide, the iPhone is a bit smoother with my walking, but they both look very good during daytime. And for the video in general, I still like the iPhone more because it's smoother and when you're indoors, it feels like the shutter speed is slower on the Pixel so you see a lot more blurriness as I'm moving around quickly. And for low light, you can see the Pixel is kind of struggling where it's kind of choppy from time to time and of course it's a lot more noisier. Even though you can see micro jitters on both, it's a lot more apparent on the Pixel too. And moving on to ultra wide, they both don't perform the best but you can clearly tell that the Pixel is a lot more noisier, it's a lot more shaky, blurrier, HDR is also better, you can see the hallway whereas on a Pixel it's just blown out. So the clear winner here is obviously the iPhone. So that is a comparison between these two. I feel like the iPhone 16 has held back more on 
the yellowish and the bluish tones that I didn't really like on the 15. So I think it's doing a better job at trying to show something more realistic. Whereas on the Pixel, we know it's trying to be more corrected and more neutral. But shooting video, the iPhone is clearly the winner. So let me know your thoughts between these two phones and which one you prefer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.